Welcome to Mako's tutorial on glazing this cute little snowman. Here are the supplies that you will need. First thing, make sure you dampen a sponge and dust off the wear. This will remove any dust that may prevent the glaze from sticking. Now, take your FN01 white foundations and pour out a dollop onto a palette. You want to prime your soft band brush by dipping it in water and then removing the excess water by pulling it across a paper towel or a kitchen roll. This is the equivalent of if you're going to wash your hair. You want to prime your hair first with water and then you apply the product. You want to fully load the fan brush with the FN01 white foundation glaze. Load it up completely. It's okay if it gets into the ferrule. You can clean it well later. Now you want to lay down a good coat of glaze onto the wear. The key is to lay down a coat of glaze and not stretch it. While the glaze is drying, cut out the snowman pattern. You don't worry about cutting out the arms, we'll just paint those on later. The pattern is going to act as a masking tool. When the shine is off the first coat of glaze, then you can apply the second layer of the white foundations. After the shine has gone away from the second coat of glaze, wet the back of the pattern with a damp sponge it will stick to the wear. The reason you don't stick the pattern into the wet glaze is it will remove a layer of the glaze. Make sure that the paper pattern is stuck down nice and tight. Use a damp sponge to press down the pattern. This will keep the glazes on the next step from seeping underneath the pattern. Okay, you have your pattern down nice and tight now. You're going to use your soft band brush and apply another coat or another layer of white foundations to the front of the plate. That seals down the edges so there won't be any seeping. Another tip is paint from the paper out. All right, get your next glaze color ready with SC11 Blue Yonder and SC45 My Blue Heaven. A tablespoon of each of the color should be enough. Use a damp sponge to dab into the SC11 Blue Yonder and then pounce the excess off into a palette. With the light up and down pouncing motion, you're going to sponge on SC45 My Blue Heaven all over the front of the plate covering about 90% of the surface. Okay, using the same sponge, you don't have to clean it, dab on the Blue Yonder SC11 into the glaze and then blot off the excess glaze. Again, you're going to pounce all over the front of the plate, but this time you're only going to cover about 60% of the surface. That way you have two colors showing through. Okay, and now you can remove the pattern. And you'll want to cut out the second pattern. After you have it cut out, lay it back down where the original snowman was and take a pen or a pencil to trace the details. Since the glaze is not completely dry, it will leave a dent in the glaze for you to follow. Okay, take that pattern off now. And let's get our palette ready with about a teaspoon of SC16 Cottontail and SC60 Silver Lining. You're going to use your script liner because that brush holds a lot of glaze and allows nice long brush strokes to lay down the glaze. You're going to apply one coat of Cottontail to the body and the face of the snowman. While the glaze is still wet, take a little bit of the SC60 and blend in the silver lining on the edges of the body and the face for shading. So now you actually have three coats 
of glaze because you've already applied two coats before we even did this step. Still using the script liner, apply three coats of SC11 Blue Yonder into the scarf and the hat band. Again, that script liner is going to allow you to do nice long brush strokes to lay down a good coat. Apply three coats of SC76 Caribbean to the cap and to the scarf. Remember, allow the shine to go away before you add the next coat of glaze on. You don't have to let everything be bone dry. By leaving it as somewhat damp, it gives it some tooth to hold on to the next coat of glaze. And to rosy up the little cheeks, you're going to take a sponge, dab it into SC2 Melancholy, and then just blot it down onto the cheek area. All right, ready to paint that cute little nose? Apply two good coats of SC23 Jack-O-Lantern to the nose. Okay, details make everything really happen. Outlining really takes a little bit of practice. It's not easy. So, a good tip is to take your brush, add a little water to the brush, and then sneak it into a little bit of black and pull out the glaze. So you've thinned it a little bit. When outlining, the more you stay up, straight up and down, the finer the line. The more you hold the brush like a pencil, the wider the lines may not be a bad idea to practice off to the side before you start outlining. So what you're going to want to do is now outline all of the snowman. Don't forget to give them two good coats of tuxedo black to the eyes. Using the same detailer brush, remember to thin down the black a little bit. Add some lines onto the scarf. And a little bit of cottontail white, two dots. You can use the back end of your brush if you want. And you have a really cute snowman. Now the back of the plate, you can apply three coats of SC11 Blue Yonder. Use that soft fan brush, really load it full and lay down a nice flowing coat of glaze. Allow the glaze to dry in between each coat.
Let it dry, stilt it, fire it to cone 0506, and enjoy.